the defensive player of the year, the best defender in the whole NBA for that season. This is probably the most underrated award in all of sports. These guys do the dirty work and get less spotlights than the players who just score the ball. Many greats have won this award before and has raised many legacies. For example, it changed the way we think of Ben Wallace, Dennis Rodman, and will be the reason Draymond Green probably gets into the Hall of Fame. Let's take a look at the top defensive player of the year cast for the 2018-2019 NBA season. What's up YouTube, it's your boy SD back with another video and let's get into it. Number 5. Victor Oladipo Victor is probably one of the best two-way players in the NBA today. Last year he led the league in steals with 2.4 steals per game. With an amazing work ethic and all the hard work he's put in in the gym this summer, I wouldn't be surprised if he's able to raise that average. He can also block shots, being ranked third out of all guards last year with the .8 blocks per game. It is even more impressive when you consider that one of the guys above him is Ben Simmons, who is 6'10". He also made it difficult for his opponents to score against him, holding his opponents to only 45% shooting. Oladipo would be higher on the list if the award was not focused on big men. The last guard to win the Defensive Player of the Year was Gary Payne in 1996, which is over 20 years ago. If he can be an even better defender than he was last year, he might actually end up having a chance. Number 4. Rudy Gobert The 2018 Defensive Player of the Year and the anchor of the Jazz defense. The Jazz had the second best defense last year thanks to an amazing job Gobert did in the paint. He was third last year in blocks per game with 2.3 a game. One of the players above him was Kristaps Porzingis who will miss the upcoming season so he shouldn't move up on that list barring any decline. He has had a defensive box plus minus of 4.6 which means his defense was out of the world last year. He held his opponents to 45.4% shooting and once you consider he goes against bigs, it is even more impressive. Most big men shoot around 55% since most of their shots are close to the basket so for him to have such a low percentage it is very impressive. The only thing preventing Gobert from being higher on the list is a lack of athleticism. The players above him on this list possess it, and I feel like that's going to hurt his case this year. Number 3. Kawhi Leonard Kawhi is always in the race for Defensive Player of the Year, and probably would be in the race last year if it wasn't for his injury. I'm not going to get into his stats because everyone across the NBA knows Kawhi is an elite defender and is capable of locking up the best scorers in the league each night. He has won the award twice and has a legit shot at becoming one of four players to win it three times. With all eyes in the NBA on him after last year, expect Kawhi Leonard to shine and take over. Number 2. Joel Embiid The number 2 finisher of the 2018 Defensive Player of the Year award. He is very young, only being 24 years old and is still developing, so expect him to take another step forward this year. He is a hard worker so he definitely has a chance to be the best defender in the league this upcoming season. He is very mobile and can even take guards on the wings at times due to his athleticism. He only let his opponents hit 40.9% of the field goals they attempted last year, which is crazy considering that they took 14.2 shots per game against him. Regardless if the players are wings or bigs going against him, the stats are amazing. He averaged 1.8 blocks per game last year, but I would say it's realistic to expect him to have over 2 per game next year. If he's able to take another step forward this year, don't be surprised if he has a legit debate to win the award. Number 1. Anthony Davis In my opinion, he's the best offensive big man in the league. He's 7 feet tall and uber athletic, meaning he can guard basically anyone. He led the leagues in blocks per game last year with 2.6 per game. He held his opponents to 39.2% field goal percentage on 16.4 shots per game last year. That is insane, like for anyone. He also had 1.5 steals per game last year, which is the second out of all big men. I feel like Anthony Davis will finally get the word that has been constantly evading him this year. In conclusion, I feel like Anthony Davis will win Defensive Player of the Year for the 2018-2019 NBA season. All these other players have legit debates though and should not be slept on. Thanks for watching, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell, get notifications for when I post, and I'm out. Man, work, um.